All right, hey, welcome to the garage. It's Rick trying to uh, finish this project to mount bullhorns. And I don't see a lot of stuff on YouTube about this piece here. Um, I had my neighbor Phil turn down a um, piece of pine to three inches by eight inches, and then I did a bandsaw to make this thing fit together. Um, then I did the Gorilla uh, Epoxy uh, to get everything adhesed together. I initially had this thing put together with the brown wood, the brown um, leather, and I didn't like the contrast. So what I'm going to do is still use this piece, but I'm going to change it up with the, the black. And this is the back of the horns. This, this is the back of the horn. So we'll go ahead, staple this thing together. I'm using two pieces just because of the, the size of the horns versus the wood. Let's staple this on. Then I'm going to add the black. So I think that provides me a lot more contrast uh, with the black on the end of the horns. Now while I do the next part, I'll tell you a little bit about the bull, Herford. He was butchered in about uh, 1983 when I was 13, 14 years old. And uh, Grandpa raised him. He was a big guy, he dressed out to 1,280 pounds or so. So what I'm going to do with the super glue here is just going to go ahead and this is an older tube. Put this on just because this stuff wouldn't come out. So I'm going to put that on the back. I'm going to just clamp this down and let it set for a while until it dries. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do both sides and wrap it up with this twine that I've used before. And we'll see how it looks. Next uh, part of the project is going to be using this piece of red oak. I got to trim it up, get it to about seven eighths of an inch, glue it together, make a plaque. And then mount the horns on it from there. So I'll, this is going to be a two-part one. And uh, we'll see how this all works out. Thank you.